what's up ghouls and welcome back to my channel i'm really hoping that some of you guys are new here and that you don't know me and you've clicked on this video and you found it and you're interested in which case what's up i'm blaze and this is my channel welcome to my lair so today i decided to film indie moon's ultimate witch tag which i have up here on my ipad so um her youtube name is lauren samantha hyphen indie moon and so she's the one who's created this tag. Um, I decided to film it because um, obviously I love makeup, I love fashion, I love goth, the goth subculture, spooky things, stuff like that, as you can tell if you've seen my other videos. If not, check them out after this. <laughs> um, but I don't want this channel to just be all product and all um, materialistic, like I want some substance to this channel. So I thought I would share with you guys a side of me that is not normally seen that often, um, maybe on like Twitter and Instagram and other places like that. Um, like I'm not shy and I don't hide the fact that I practice witchcraft, but I just don't talk about it as freely as I do like the goth subculture, music, makeup, stuff like that. So I thought I would introduce you guys to this part of me that hopefully you'll find slightly interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the questions because I don't want it to be too long and too boring. So let's go. So question number one, at what age did you discover you were a witch? Um, I've been practicing witchcraft for four years now since I left, yeah, since I left secondary school. So about four, going on five years now. Um, I discovered, since discovered you were a witch, um, I was interested in the craft from about age 10 or 11. Um, I used to buy these little books that you could find and they were, they were geared more towards children than teens and adults and stuff like that. Um, and it was about, it was like little witchy things you could do um, in everyday life and stuff like that. So I had like my chest of drawers in my bedroom that I shared with my sister. And one of the drawers, it was like all clothes, and one of them took out all the clothes, laid down this little purple scarf, and I was like, this is my sacred drawer. And my mum has a huge crystal collection, which is given to me now, so thanks mum. <laughs> um, so I had, I put a couple of the crystals in there from my mum's crystal collection. I had a couple of these mini candles that I bought when I was on holiday once, and then I had my book, and this was my sacred drawer, this was my witchcraft drawer. I never did any spells or anything like that, I was too scared to even light the candles. But um, I was really, really interested in witchcraft. I've had an interest in magic for the longest time. I used to leave out little um, offerings for fairies when I was seven or eight, like I've always been interested in magic, always, but um, I just never really knew where to start I guess, and when I was little I was too scared, so yeah, I've been practicing for about four or five years, but I've been interested in it for, if I was seven, that'd be 13 years, oh my god, that is long, I don't want to say that, that makes me sound old. Um, question number two, how has the craft changed your life? Um, it's taken over the majority of my flat. <laughs> Um, I am, I'm such a hoarder, um, and obviously for witchcraft you can never have enough supplies, there's always a spell or a ritual or anything that requires another thing that you don't quite have. Um, so as you can see behind me in this section here, I have all my herbs and stuff for spells and that goes right the way along there. Um, I've got candles below that, incense below that, Ouija board, all kinds of things. Um, so this is like my little studio space in the house where I keep most of my witchy supplies but then there's other stuff dotted around. So one way it's changed my life is it has taken over my life. I am obsessed, I love it. Everything I do has little witchy intentions, whether it's like stirring dinner and I'll stir it clockwise. Stir it? Stir it clockwise to promote positivity and stuff like that. Um, whether it's running out in the pissing down rain to go and collect a little bottle of rainwater or storm water. This fly, I swear to God, it keeps touching my face and it's stressing me out. <laughs> um, yeah, so it has just taken over my life. That's how it's impacted my life or yeah, changed my life. It has just taken over. I am fully immersed into the witchcraft life. Um, number three, if you had to choose one family member to be a witch too, who would they be and why? Um, if there's anyone in my family who was like interested 
in it I would maybe say my mum because she had a lot of so many crystals um I would say she's the closest in terms of stuff like that but my younger sister Casey who should be watching this video if you're watching case what's up girl um she did a full moon ritual with me once um we went and sat on the garden shed at my mum's house and we sat up there and did a ritual together so that was kind of cool um she's the only person i've ever done like a spell or a ritual with because i'm like a solitary witch so it was really cool to have someone there to do a spell with me so yeah i pick you casey you will be a witch with me <laughs> Number four, if you were to receive one supernatural power upon initiating as a witch, what would the universe have given you? Um, if it's like anything I want, I would pick to be able to fly on a broomstick, like a proper witch. That would be the coolest thing. That would be so cool. If it's what the universe has given me in terms of like my personality and stuff they would dish out, probably astral projection or clairvoyance um, so astral projection would be where um, you can visit other planes um, whether you're like asleep or you get into like a meditative is that word state and you can visit other planes and other life forms and stuff like that spirits I think that's very suited to my not just like my whole aesthetic but my beliefs and my interests and stuff like that so I think astral projection or clairvoyance where you can see into the future um, that would be probably in keeping with my personal tastes um, number five if you had to label your type of craft what type of witch would you be i.e. sea witch garden witch etc um, I would consider myself an eclectic witch I don't stick to just one path of witchcraft um, I think it would be incredibly difficult to stick to one path but I think it's because I just want like the best bits of everything and I have, I have quite a lot of interests so I don't just stick to one thing 100% I like a lot of things for example like lunar witchery l really really interested in the moons and the phases of the moons waxing moon <coughs> full moon new moon stuff like that I have um pages in my book of shadows dedicated to that um so i'm really interested in lunar witchery also super interested in hedge witchery like i said earlier astral projection um lucid dreaming uh contacting spirits divination stuff like that super interested in that um also kitchen witchery um whenever like a sabbat comes around i'm always preparing feasts and meals and stuff like that um, so I would say kitchen witchery, uh, bath witchery, having herbal baths to calm yourself or rejuvenate, stuff like that. Super interested in that. So yeah, eclectic witch. Definitely eclectic witch. If you could only practice one specialty in the craft, what would it be? Are you herbalism, crystals, divination, etc. Um, candle magic. 100%. I can't do a spell without a candle. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like a proper spell unless I've got a candle. I also really, really rely on crystals for my spells and herbs, but I could probably make do without crystals and herbs. I could probably find some kind of substitute um, in terms of just like intention and feeling and stuff like that, but I would absolutely 100% need a candle. Couldn't do it without a candle. Um, if you were able to attend a real life Hogwarts, what would you major in? I would major in something that I have an interest in and I'm passionate about, but I don't know enough about it and like something I really would want to learn about. So I would pick astrology, um, star signs and houses and planets, everything like that. Um, so I have like done some research, this is in my book of shadows. Um, I've done research into it, but I would just, I could learn about it all day. I love it. I'm so interested in it. So, 100% astrology. Um, question number eight. A witch needs a familiar. Who do you choose? So, a familiar is usually an animal or sometimes a spirit that comes with you, comes with you, that aids you in your work and is there for spells and rituals and things like that. Um, I have no pets. None at all. Um, I'm not super researched into guides and spirit guides and stuff like that so if i could pick any um familiar i would pick a cat 
hopefully my boyfriend and I will be getting a cat very very soon um but yeah so I would pick a cat but I don't have one so one day <laughs> um number nine what fictional witch do you resonate with the most um I pre-read these questions and I thought long and hard about this and at first my first thought was Nancy from the craft but pre meltdown and invoking the spirit um, I think she's really cool, she doesn't really care what other people think, she's badass. Um, she's obviously super devoted to the craft and stuff like that, so I resonate with her in that respect. But she's super into hexing. Not that I'm... What's the word? I'm not against hexing, I think if it calls for it, then you shouldn't be afraid to do it. But don't just be throwing them around to whoever, whenever. So... At first I thought Nancy, but then I remembered Marnie from Halloween Town, um, Aggie Cromwell's granddaughter, and I was like, definitely Marnie. So when she's a kid, she's like super interested in it, she reads up about it, like she doesn't realise it's true, but she's so into it. Um, all kinds of like, supernatural things, werewolves and vampires, and she has loads and loads of knowledge, and it's just like me when I was a kid, super interested in it, and then she grows up to be a badass powerful witch, so Marnie, I pick Marnie. Um, number 10, you get to choose your very own YouTube coven, who's in it. I, <laughs> I'm not aware of any witches on YouTube, um, most of the YouTube I watch is either like, that just goth or makeup so I'm not I don't really know any YouTube witches <laughs> um, yeah I'll have to pass on that um, number 11 what common misconception about witches would you like to set the record straight about warts on noses why 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 is that a thing that makes me mad and like witches being ugly like ugh, that's just mean um, that's like a proper old misconception though I would say a modern day misconception about witches is that anyone who puts on a wide brimmed hat and has an occult symbol on their socks, top, dress is a witch. <laughs> like no, come back to me when you can use a pendulum or communicate using a Ouija board or tell me the properties of rosemary or tell me what crystal you're wearing on your necklace there like i don't like this whole like witch is a trend thing i i can't stand that like obviously i like that kind of fashion i think that kind of fashion's cool i mean i wear similar stuff to that definitely but wearing it doesn't make you a witch it's more of just like a new goth trend or not trend, new goth style then, which that annoys me a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, witches come in all shapes and sizes. We all look completely different. Everyone has their own style, their own aesthetic, everything like that. So you don't just have to be dark and spooky to be a witch. Obviously, you can dress however the heck you want and practice your craft. You can be 19 years old, you could be 90 years old, whatever. So I don't like that this, you're a witch if you dress like that. Like, Bye. <laughs> um, number 12, you revert back to a baby witch, who do you choose as your mentor? Again, I don't really know any other people who practice the craft, I'm a solitary witch, I don't know anyone in real life who practices, I don't really follow anyone online that practices. I would say, if I was just starting out again as a baby witch and I had no idea what to do, I would subscribe to the School of Witchery. I'll link their Instagram down below. I haven't joined yet, but I'm super, super interested in it. Um, it's like a little online school for witches where you can learn stuff and they have classes. You just enroll on their website. There is a payment per month. I don't remember how much it is, but I'm 100% considering it. So if I was a baby bat, I would pick the School of Witchery as my mentor. Um, number 13, where do you expect your craft to take you in the future? Um, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at now with the craft um, in terms of like knowledge and my practice. I would like to do more stuff with in regards to it. Like sometimes I slack a little bit, probably don't do. Not that there's a certain amount of witchcraft one must do per day, per week, per month, whatever. But I think I could be more active in the craft than I am. 
So hopefully in the future, the craft will take me to a place where I'm more um, active. I don't know, I'm just like a good, positive, vibing little witch. <laughs> Um, so that's the end of the tag. I love that there's 13 questions. Spooky. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed filming this video. I hope you guys got a little more insight into me and my path of witchcraft, stuff like that. If any of you guys practice witchcraft, let me know down below. If any of you are new to this channel, comment down below. Say, hey, we can have a chat. Um, yeah, I would just love to make more witchy friends. So I'm hoping by making this video that I'll meet some cool witchy people. Um, follow me on social media so it's easier to communicate with you guys. So my Twitter is Macabre Goddess, Instagram Macabre Goddess, Snapchat Dixie Plum Pixie. I think that's it. And I'm also setting up a Tumblr for Q and A's. And I also have, let me find it because I've not used it in a while, a Tumblr account for my witchcrafty things, which is witchcraft and bitchcraft. So it looks like this. You can see there. Um, yeah, so if you want to follow me on there, follow me, let me know your name, I'll give you a follow back, we can talk witchy stuff together. Yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!